Devon Koi Fong on another beautiful day, sunny Devon. Been an absolute cracking week this week. Good pond temperatures all week. Fish been happy, pond's been ticking over lovely. Not a problem at all, last of the blanket weeds gone. Absolutely fantastic. Right, if you're enjoying the videos, the normal spiel, please get down, smash a like, thumbs up. If you're not enjoying, thumbs down. If you're not already, please smash a subscription. All helps down here at, uh, with the channel. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. More content I can put in and put out. Right, what's been going on? So, the last 20 days, 15 to 20 days, I've uh, actually been feeding this. And I'll give you a review on this. Cuttlebrook Premium Growth. Really nice stuff. Okay, fish like it. But it leaves an oily film on top of the water. Now, if you haven't got a skimmer on your pond, I would definitely steer clear of this because it'll leave a mess on top of the water that uh, just takes a long time to break down. If you've got a skimmer, no problem whatsoever. Pulls it off the top of the water, oily sheen, gone within 10, 15 minutes of feeding it. Otherwise, it'll just build up. Goes into the filters, don't know what happens to it after then. I suppose it's protein and oils gets broken down in the filter. But this, yeah. I'll give it a 10 out of 10 on the Devon Koi Pond scale. Good food. Got another five kilo bag of it in there. Get rid of. I'll happily mix that in with the NT Labs stuff that uh, I feed all the time. I do like the NT Labs growth, um, vital health one. And uh, winter time, I'll go on to the wheat germ and garlic. Mm, them in cloud. Right. I've planted out the um, piss filter over here. Um, I see some of you like that name. Well, it is dribbling. It's a piss filter. Simple as that. Water's running slowly for it. Now, me, uh, mind your own business turned up. Um, and I was a little bit upset at that. It's it planting in a tray of peat, which is a bit of a bugger. So I've got to have a more of a play around with that. But um, I had me bags of moss turn up, which is like a fern frog moss. And I've shoved that in front of the baskets. So that's been in there a couple of days now. It's wet all the time when it's shoved in the filter baskets. You better see over here. I'll take you over. I think that's going to do really well on it. I'd be happy if it was just growing moss all over it. But we'll whip over and have a look at that. But on the way, I've got a little mod. If you've got in-pond skimmer, like I've got, mine's built into the wall. But if you've got a standing skimmer in the pond, one of the round ones, you'll find after a few years this little problem. Let's have a look at it. One of these in-pond skimmers that's on a pipe that I've built that comes through the wall. Really nice skimmer. Got a nice wide area around it. Done a few mods on it. You've seen some of the videos. But you find after a while that the cage on the outside doesn't float too well. So it's a long way below the surface of the water. It needs a little bit more buoyancy added to it to bring it up a bit. And then it pulls more directly the surface water. You want it right up riding quite high then when the pump's running, the suction of the pump will pull it back down. And I've got a drop, as you can see in the center of it there, oh, getting on three parts of an inch. The pump's actually only pulling on that at the moment. It's uh, about uh, three quarters its power. So it's pulling about 6,000 liters, something like six to 7,000 liters actual for it by the time it goes through the pipes. And that's the kind of draw I got. I'll show you the little trick to help it stay up a little bit higher in the water so it's pulling water right off the surface and skimming properly because once it sinks a little bit it sits too low in the water and it's pulling water from below the surface as well so I'll just show you this a second because this is a good little mod After a while, this cage just sits too low in the water. You want to pull right off the surface. So to do that, you add some of these. Now, these little foam balls, you can buy them on eBay, they come in two sizes. Uh, I think it's 35 mil and 45 mil they are. You want the smaller ones. But four of these little foam balls shoved in there actually aid this floating. 
Also, the algae growth on it seems to keep it too low in the water. You want it right on the surface, and then it's sucked down, and it pulls better. You want your draw right from the surface area. There you go. It sits there like that, and it's pulling right off the surface, literally. It, just after a while, they tend to, well, I say they get old and tired, like we all do. But that really helps doing that. So, I hope that's a good little tip for those of you that uh, use these filters. It's cleaning day down here today. No visitors around this weekend. It's a bank holiday weekend, so I've still got filter floss on my outlet. I'll pop the camera over on top of the vortex pit in a minute so that uh, you can get a look at the uh, veg filter with the moss in it. Give me a second and I'll move you over there. On our way over. Temperature this morning 19.1, 19.2. Temperature in the filter shed bit here 32. Temperature all week's been up over 20 in the pond, dropping overnight down to about 19. Been mild nights and sunny days down here in Devon. Hope all you lot uh, been down here on holiday, had a good time. I certainly have. My holiday's over next week, back to work. Ooh, fantastic. Really looking forward to that. As I said, the fish are all happy. Let's get you over here a minute and I'll spin the camera around onto the piss filter. Okay, right, here we are on the piss filter. Aptly named, I think, now, because it's just dribbling and peeing everywhere like an old man. Now, I've planted it all out with this fern moss, frog moss, just shoved in around the edges of the baskets. Okay, now it's just stacking the uh, pretty much the four levels there. Now it will grow in continuous water nearly, or very damp. Now, when you put your fingers around all this and have a look, it's all moist. So I'm hoping this stuff will really fly. Let's see if I can uh, zoom in a bit for you here. Right. Hoping you can see this. It's all wet. Now that was a good buy, I think, this stuff. The only nutrients it's going to get is from the water, so everything it's taking is from the water. Hopefully it'll grow up the front of the baskets. When I get a bit more of it grown here, I think it's going to grow all the way through the winter because the cover will go back over the veg filter here. I've definitely got to get in and pull these lilies around pretty soon, but they've got some nice flowers on them at the moment. So going to be a little while but I need to pull them around thin them out right the other thing is the feed for this filter I'm still going to play around with it I can actually take a tap into the second easy pod which has been cleaned by the first easy pod so I take a tap into there put this skimmer line back in to the first easy pod with the valve just redirect it back there again by shutting the valve off I can actually put filtered water into it. The floss on top here is working, but that's the only thing, barring the jack matting around the pipe and the skimmer, that's actually cleaning the water. So this floss, I'm having to change it out twice a week. Now you have to remember, I'm not used to a shower filter or anything where it dribbles out of a bar like this and the maintenance on it. I'm not high on maintenance, all the maintenance here in a week isn't much over an hour summertime hour an hour hour and a half dump the filters out twice refill the water that's it boil everything but changing floss like this it's a little bit of a job for me so twice a week I've had to change this so I'm thinking about going over the filtered water for it and then I wouldn't need to bother and I can also dump some moss on top of the baskets but we'll uh, have another think on that for another week because I don't know if I'll get enough pressure out of a gravity feed from the easy pod to it. It's no problem doing it, it's just drilling the hole in the easy pod and connecting back into the pipe, valve into it, and I can back feed it that way, shutting off the then supply from the pump to it. But it's whether there'll be enough water. 
and whether I want to make another hole in the easy pod. Not that it isn't difficult, but blank out. Right, well, uh, going on the other little item I want to do an update on this week. I uh, got a little bit carried away in the week and left the filter floss in overnight, and it was already quite blooming dirty as it is now. It'll go a day and a half in here, and this is mostly dead bio that's coming out. This is the end of my filter line. This is mostly dead bio on this. It's coming from the moving beds. That blocks up after about two days, but it caught me unawares, and the veg filter came up, overflowed. I lost two inches of water out of the pond, or an inch and a half to two inches of water out of the pond, and bang, the alarm went off. It was about 10 o'clock at night, so it wasn't a problem. Come down, boom, straight away, knew exactly what it was as soon as it went off. But we'll have a look into the alarm. Built that about 12 months ago. I'll uh, zoom back in on the filters, and then I'll uh, whip it off, put it in on there on the bench, because I dare say it wants a battery change after now. It's first time it's actually uh, worked in anger this year, and it was nice to see it, hear it go off, really, and know that it will save me the effort. Because if I end up caught it without the alarm, I lost about 18 inches of water out of the pond or more before the pump stopped and shut off. Right, we'll have a look at the alarm. I'll catch you in on the bench in a minute. Okay, just before I unscrew it, here it is mounted on the filter. You see the little float on it. Now, 12 months or more this has been on. First time it got used in anger, I lost 2 inches of water, overspilled out of the veg. Entirely my fault. But you need something like this. It's an alarm that lets you know whatever sort of pond you've got, you could rig something like this up. It's dirt cheap to do yourself. Now, somebody did send me a video. They had set one up with one of the new video doorbells. I've lost the video, unfortunately, in the computer wreck the other day. But if they can send me that video again, it'd be greatly appreciated. And I will show it on the channel. The intention was to, but I've lost it, but they, they've got the video set up so it goes to your phone, right? So you get a phone alert plus a video of what's happening, which is fantastic. But if you can set, if you know, you know, you know who you are. If you've got it, please send it to me again, and I'll show it on the channel. This is just the doorbell, which will ring and let you know in the house that you've got a problem. As I said, it went off 10 o'clock the other night. Just let me know. I'd lost over an inch of water. It only needs to drop that and it goes off. Right, let's get it unscrewed a minute, get it on the bench, give you another look. I'll pop a link up here on the top to the original video of me building the thing. Quite a few people built this off the back of that. Hopefully it's still working for them happily as it's working for me. Right, let's get it in on the bench a minute and you can have a look at it. Okay, yeah, if you follow the link to the original video, you'll see me actually building this. I'll show you inside the box in a minute, but uh, Basically, it was one of these doorbells for which you get a chimer and two of these. This one stays in the workshop. All right, I got one in the house as well. So, all you do is plug these in, so there it's on and armed. Got it in the little back socket there. Now, this is down to the water level here got this set now as soon as the water goes down this runs nearly at the top but the water level go down and it just keeps going off now I know some people came across these here where it didn't go continuously once the float dropped all right but this does go off continuously this one like that lets you know look boom boom and you should have heard that all right so it goes off like that all right not just ding dong As I say, a guy sent me a video of it sorted out on a video doorbell. Ooh, 
that's enough of that right so what I've actually got in here right is the guts from this now all I've done is jump wired across the board switch there that's wired in this has been outside in the weather in this like bicycle inner tube repair kit it's been in that for over 12 months out there this is a handy little toy to have most certainly if you're pump fed and you haven't got a float switch on your pond you definitely want something like this on there don't forget the old manky clothes peg to hold it up when you're doing a filter clean and water swap right so that's what that's like nice easy little setup I'll pop the video up when the chap gets hold of me and redoes the video of the one with the uh, sends me the video of the one with the <coughs> send me the video of the one with the video doorbell on it because all that is is a simple bridge on that but it sends an alert to your phone right even when you're away from the house and you can view it so it gives you a chance then to call somebody and say something's gone shit wise with the pond at home I can't get there can you get round there quick right or you get yourself back quick normally here I'm lucky me or the missus are home most of the time if we go away I've got neighbours that look after the pond right so that was that little update on that I'll get that out and screw back on because you never know when you're going to need it let's pop you out on the step a minute and we'll go from there right this is the tray of mind your own business I got so it all looks quite healthy but it's uh, planted in uh, a layer of moss meat and peat so I'm going to have to coax it out of that but that said I'll probably just put the tray down in the veg filter as is I haven't got any mud in the veg filter no soil in there whatsoever it's all in gravel I'll get what mud I can off the bottom of this and just uh, kind of float the tray in the veg filter for the winter worry about this next spring see how the moss goes I do fancy having this stuff growing but I don't want the mud no soil in the pond you want uh, all the plant life growing off what's in the water right so that's that little uh, pop on the alarm as I said the link was up there to the uh, video um, if I got it in the right place if not I'll stick it on the end of the video here to me building uh, that last week um, last year which was an easy little job but I just got to find the right doorbell one that rings continuously like that once the float drops because some of them you just press them it only rings once I had several people say that they bought one and it only rang, went ding dong when it was pressed. You want one that goes off continuously when it's pressed. Right, if anybody has done one with a video alarm on it, they want to pop me up the video, I'll be uh, quite happy to uh, show it on the channel. I don't want to have to go out and buy a doorbell with a video on it just for myself, because uh, I don't need one. I don't need to spend the money on it. Right, but uh, if the original guy that sent me the original video can get hold of me, I'm sorry I lost it, but send it to me again more than happy to show it because it was a nice bit of filming and it seemed to work a treat right again this stuff from Cuttlebrook recommended all right but if you haven't got a skimmer not recommended you just done it with a really mess on top of the water that'll take a long time to get rid of but good food and a reasonable price so that was uh, 30 pounds for five kilos so 60 quid for 10 kilos which was uh, cheap buying it in the five kilo lots over the 10 kilo bucket which was 65 quid I think again off of eBay didn't deal with them direct probably if I'd have gone direct it'd been a little bit cheaper again but good stuff for me the planting that was fantastic I'm sure that moss will take off I'm hoping it'll winter grow inside there because the filter will go back over the top again next week I'll have a look at moving the uh, pipe over to uh, feeding it off gravity after the filters rather than pump fed just to see if it'll save me if it will work like that and it'll save me so much cleaning on filter floss on the top because I literally won't, wouldn't need the filter floss over the top of it if I had to take it off gravity after the filters but we'll have a look at that next week back at work oh, really looking forward to it still 22 days next week and uh, just in for the two days the kids are back the week after it should be exciting hopefully the plaques have been up since last weekend after the catastrophe trying to sell them let down by the bloody post things were supposed to have been here they're well, hopefully delivered here today it says they're out for delivery which is five days late 
If you're after a plaque, the links will be down in below here. If you're after some caps, it's going your easy pod. Stop losing your K1. That's on eBay. Links are down here. Or just to go in your easy pod. Links down below here in the description. Okay. Right. That's about it. If you've enjoyed the video and your little trip down here to sunny Devon, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, smash a like and subscribe down here. Right, been nice having you. Maybe get up and see James. Don't know, I've got to bell him. This is the bank holiday weekend. Don't know what he's up to the Monday, but Monday's the only day I got free. I don't want to take up too much of his time, but I'll bell him and see. Right, catch you all next week. Bye, bye.